the way I see it, mechanics are pretty much like doctors, but you know, without the country club memberships. I mean, cars have as many or more parts than humans, and to fix them almost always involves some kind of surgery. At least that's what the bill looks like. But now, large repair bills can adios because of a car sensor that can diagnose. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Today's cars are really computers on wheels, controlling and monitoring hundreds of mechanical and electrical functions simultaneously. So when the dreaded check engine light pops on, most of us panic because we're totally clueless as to what's wrong. And it may not even be that serious. We then drive to a mechanic, pay for a diagnostic test to determine the problem, and cross our fingers hoping it's accurate. But what if you could run your own test? Fixed is a device that plugs into any car since 1996. Every car has this little port just under the steering wheel that our device plugs into. It's the same thing that a mechanic would plug their big scan tool into. And then it connects via Bluetooth to an app that we've created on the user's smartphone. I made my way to Atlanta, Georgia to meet John Gattuso, a Georgia Tech graduate who streamlined the complexity of auto diagnostics and jargon into a portable device he calls Fixed. So this is fixed. This is fixed. This is it. Yep. And this is essentially the onboard computer inside your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Fixed gets plugged in and extracts the information, one of the many tens of thousands of things that could be going on with your car. Exactly. And then we take that information and send it over Bluetooth to your phone. From there, we digest all that really complex car terminology and car data and then put it into terms that anybody can understand. So the color of the wrenches indicate how severe that problem is. So if it's red the, is the highest level of severity, it means that that problem will affect the drivability of your car. Should probably stop. Yeah, it's probably. Got 14, 14 problems here. Does. That's a bad time. If it's yellow or green, it will not affect the drivability of the car. And with each of those problems, we can dig into uh, what those potential problems are. So we'll see kind of the level of severity up here at the top, and then all of our detected issues. The app will also give you cost estimates for repairs and can even recommend trustworthy mechanics. We use John's personal car for a practical test. You just take the device, plug it straight in there, that's and it. then that's all you gotta do. And you can pull out the app on your phone and then be able to connect and scan and it will start communicating with the vehicle. So it's now connecting to the device via Bluetooth and it's gonna start sending commands to check the various control modules around the vehicle. You have yeah. four problems. Great. <laughs> and it's red. Yep. This, is not, this is not good. This is not good. So, Because um, I've boiled the brakes by racing around the track and uh -oh. stuff, so I triggered some internal <laughs> codes. <laughs> so as we look at the different problems, we'll be able to see kind of what's going on with the car. I pulled a code on it to say the intake air temperature sensor is broken, but we've also got additional information about that problem from videos and blog content to help you understand what's going on. You're able with this app to get access to information that typically your mechanic would get by doing mm -hmm. the same thing. Yep, but whereas with the mechanic, they would take that really complex information from their car, they'd be able to understand it because of their experience and what they're doing. But for most of our customers, we've got to take an extra step of making it simple for them. It may be simple, but chances are you'll see more honest mechanics from now on.